Yeah, you know, Durham leaders say tackling gun violence is an all hands on deck effort. Some of the most recent shootings that have happened in the Bull City actually happened here in McDougal Terrace. So I came here to learn more about the problem and talk through possible solutions. When you hear gunshots in McDougal Terrace, what comes to mind? Well, I, I heard it so much, it's like a doorbell to me. Gun violence is so commonplace in McDougal Terrace that it barely moves people like Robert Lyon, right who have been living here most of their lives. I just hope by some time, straight bullets don't fly through the window and hit people you love or you. The numbers show, while black people make up just 14% of the population, they are disproportionately affected by gun violence, accounting for 60% of firearm homicides. Robert is 41 and has lived here since he was 15. I sat with him on his neighbor's front steps and asked what he thinks is behind the problem. They raised by their moms, their dad's not home. You see, their the dad been killed or their dad locked up for a very long time. You know, mama can't teach a boy how to be a man. I brought his concern of fatherless homes to Javanya Lewis. It's truly critical that we have healthy fathers in the homes. She's a licensed mental health counselor and founder of Empowered Parents and Community, a local nonprofit that promotes black parent leadership. Lewis says it takes a village to raise a child, and to her, that means more people feeling responsible for the children in the community that don't have male role models. She also says when children are impacted by crime, they are forced to grow up quickly. If I am in a neighborhood and I'm not gonna be safe going from my house to the school, to the bus stop, I may take a weapon with me. And not that I'm a violent person, but I need to protect myself. When I spoke to Robert at McDougal Terrace, he told me a solution to crime was desperately needed, but he didn't know what it could be. We called up with Durham District Attorney Satana DeBerry at the annual gun lock giveaway, giving a demonstration of how gun locks work, but talking about how this is just one solution to a deep-rooted problem. When people have guns, to help them secure those guns and keep those guns safe, and so that we don't end up in a situation where we have to prosecute people. And, you know, I just spoke to the mayor and he told me the city is investing about one hundred twenty five thousand dollars identifying and partnering with every organization that does what's called youth impact work here in the Bull City. He says this could help uh, impact gun violence in some sort of way. He says hopefully by reaching the kids before the streets do. We're live in Durham, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.